it is time to get going okay now I moved my webcam after testing this so it may be a little off let's see nope we look good I'm keeping the uh, green screen effect because it's a little cleaner but it's been a while since I've used this one I like this background so here we are starting with ActRaiser now for the purpose of the video um, I mentioned this in chat uh, the rules of this challenge that I'm doing are I'm going to be playing through the entire 253 game list provided by you know I forgot the name of the site already um, pixel prospector is the uh, entire thing um, I'm gonna be giving each game at least 30 to 60 minutes and at least one stage is worth depending on the difficulty and all that we'll see how it goes um, just to show off everything within or it, enough of each game I should say so that is the plan whether or not we stick to it uh, we'll see how things go but um <clears throat> but yeah so first game in the list here is ActRaiser um, if ever you want to pull up the list it's exclamation mark platformers and that will generate a link to the list of the entire thing and periodically Morris may spit it out as his announcements go on so let's give a start here please create a name for yourself I've been trying for my entire life press B button to enter any letter you select Y to cancel start once you're okay Oh, is the game too loud? Or is my mic not working? It's a uh, exclamation mark platformers. Are you awake? No. Oh, you're messing with me. Don't do that to me, Eriken. <laughs> All right. Yeah, see? There we go. <laughs> Morris is actually useful. I've added a command or two. I am not entirely sure what's going on. Okay, let's start and fill more. Okay, let's fight some monsters. <clears throat> wow! Mode 7! first game on the list is getting mode 7. That's awesome. Smack! Little goblin things. I don't know what that was. Ow! I'll take it. I saw you, you little bee. You ain't getting me. Alright, let's play around here and see what the basic controls do. Obviously, jump and slash. There's a man in that tree. Ugh. You want to get to the M games on the list? I am trying to go alphabetically because it's not until much later in the list that things that I play regularly 
really get in there. I mean, the Donkey Kong countries are going to be early on, but um, alphabetically gives me the largest variety combined with the newest experiences. Well, that's a helpful angry tree. Whoa. Oh, hello. Okay. You were kind of annoying. Dude. Brighten up. You're a tree that can walk. Be happy about it. Oh, there's a time limit I can't really explore. Shoot. <gasps> Enemy. It's a centaur. Well, all I can really do is... Jump and slash. And I'm apparently terrible at it. Woo! There's far more to this game than I anticipated. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. We. No. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get through that. Well, okay. Pause does pause. That makes perfect sense. But I don't have anything else. I just jump and slash. see what I can do. I can't hurt him when it's like that. No, 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 no. Hey, homie. Welcome to the stream. Ow. Terrible game. Well, terrible at the game. Yep, just started this challenge, so it's the first day. Okay. Observe the people. No one yet inhabits the area. What is this? I have no magic. Well, that pff, duh, that would have been helpful. Status of me. Level one. Hey! <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Status of cities. Alright. Alright, Irican, enjoy feeding the little ones. Let's check out Blood Pool. You must be above level 2. Okay. Eidos? Level 6. Why am I getting the feeling that I'm stuck here until I turn down the suck? <laughs> yeah, see, I'm always used to saying little ones plural because I have more than one. So, <clears throat> oh, there's no like button combo things. It really is just hack and slash and hope I don't suck at it. Yeah, I'm trying to get through at least one stage though. I mean, this is this is exactly the kind of game that. That whole timer thing is uh, 
going to be important for. I cut off his head and a log pops out of the wall. I just noticed that. Is that his... his thing? Why would I come all the way back here? I just... I don't know. Okay, so that bursts open into items, so that's useful. Yep. Alright, looks like I just have to uh, learn this guy and turn down the suck. Okay, can't get him like that. If he keeps doing that, I'm okay. Nope, nope. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Use that attack all you want, buddy. Makes things significantly easier. Nope. I'm doing much better this time. And, ha! Got it! Success! Act 1 clear! Woo! Okay. So I was just really, really sucking is what was happening there. I'm a statue again. What is this? <gasps> I have people! Fillmore may became a land where people can live in peace. Yay, translations! <laughs> Protect our people from any monsters. I will do as you instruct. Please raid the land of these monsters with my arrows. There are several mysterious circles on the ground which represent monster layers. If you direct the people correctly, they will be able to seal the layers. You will discover monsters that control this land. If destroyed, control the land's destiny will return to her people. Okay. Building homes because of many bushes. Please burn the bushes and guide us as we begin to build our roads. Okay. Okay, well this just got weird. Well, I do this. Okay. 
Um, I can play Super Nintendo games because I'm using uh, ZSNES. Where I want to use the lightning bolt. Let's use it here. This is so weird. This was supposed to be a platformer and it's turned basically into SimCity. certainly will not take my folks. Nope. Get back, my people. Easy. Okay, so they're rebuilding there. Oh. You know how to hunt animals now. Ceiling monster layer. That'll be helpful. So that's where that one comes from. Oh, what's going on? Please send rain. Okay. Right in there. I really don't think we need to uh, worry about the question of humanity here. Um, nope, nope, nope.
Okay, cool. So my character levels up as my cities are developed. sure what you're asking there. Oh, uh, Zeus and ES. Yeah, go that direction. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually using my uh, PlayStation controller plugged in by a USB. Stop it! God! Nope. No! Way so I can take that freaking thing out because it's annoying. Okay, I'm starting to figure out where the layers are for these various douche nozzles. Ah. Build direction. What do they want to tell me now? Let me use the lightning to destroy the rock. I don't see a big rock. I said it was in the southeast, right? Unless I mean it's there. token was found near the press okay so what did I get <clears throat> okay they are constructing that's great guys to develop here so that we can take this monster out. Boom. Alright, you guys are cool. This space out. Take care of that little dude. Okay. So, this is a lot different than I was expecting it to be. I mean, not necessarily in a bad way either. Just very, very different. We saw the platforming part. It's kind of annoying as I have to follow the roads. It's really going to be annoying is taking that guy out. 
Come on, health. Okay, so they're building up over there. That's awesome. Oh, they're building log cabins now. Look at that. Let's see. Rain, sun. Dry out marshlands and melt snow. Blow flying creatures away. Okay, somehow I'm going to have to figure out how to build over the river. <laughs> yeah, there is more platforming to be had. Um, I'm just going to try and move the town up to where I'm level 2, or 3, actually. Population's got to be 200 for that, which this should do it. Got to keep everybody safe. Is increased. And people have something to say. I got a scroll. A source of magic. All right, Eric. Magical fire. So now I should have a spell to use. try and develop in such a way that I can take that out. Stop it! Go away! You guys are developing so nicely. and cheese. Let's see. And there we go. Seal that one off. You got it, guys. What do you guys find? What else do you have to say? We can now build bridges. Alright. Wonderful. That's what I've been waiting for. So now we can go take that little white thing out. Strength of Angel.
We're doing good. I say once we take out this last monster, I'll move on to the next stage. Yep, just had to wait for the next construction phase. Take it out! Yeah! You are completely free of tyranny. Okay. I'm a little confused here. Okay, I unlocked Act 2. That's what I did. Alright, more platforming. Here we are. <laughs> Alright, so we've officially passed the half hour threshold for this. So I say, try and get through this stage and then we'll move down the list. throw knives at me. I never selected magic beforehand, so I am completely out of luck there. Wow. The things you don't realize... Ah, spikes. Shoot. Can I? I have to game over it, don't I? Give it the old college try. points. Whoop-de-doo, Basil. Alright. Finish your game over. We're going to move on to the next one after this. This direction again. This time, hopefully, not screwing it up either. OK. 
Okay. Please be a health refill. Eh, partial. I'll take it. Ah! Game Boy Champ. And uh, tonight's national championship game, Erican. Um, you know, I've mentioned this before. Don't really watch sports, so no idea. Yeah. Is that a continue point at least? Nope. That's the game over. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, that was Act Razor. So. We're going to move on to Act Razor 2. It's next down the line, and we'll see how it is. So, just a second to change the game here. This won't take long. I just don't want to put the menu up on screen for longer than I have to, you know? Oh, these games were made by Enix before they were acquired by uh, Square. Look at me, I'm so buff. Please tell me that's me. Looks like it, because that was a demo. Game starts. Now we'll see how much Sim City management is in this one. Ripped and torn, the slain body of Tanzra was returned to the underworld. Feeding on the intense hatred each held for the master. Thirteen of Tanzra's most feared and powerful demons joined together. With their combined power, they raised the spirit of their mighty leader. Eh, well. Tanzra, vowing revenge, unleashed these demons upon the land below. Move the Sky Palace until a land name appears and press the A button. I'll give you a brief explanation of the land you have selected. Together we must combine our power and rid this land of Tanzra forever. Okay. People here used to work very hard at keeping this land healthy, hence why its name is Diligence. This one's famous for its beautiful forests and rivers. One day these people lost their desire not only to work but also to live. Well, that sounds wonderful. You may find answers to what has happened by exploring the town of Industin. Okay. It's Temponia. Where do I get to the platforming? Is this supposed to be a platformer? See a turtle. Justania. Favorian. Yeah, Favorian. Yeah, this is all really interesting. Humbleton. Okay. What's that? Ah! Right next to it, of course. In Dustin. Strange cloud appears to appear, followed by rainfall. Prepare yourself for battle. Are you ready? Alright, we found a stage. We'll say lots of cool mode seven. At 
least I thought so. Well, this could be a problem. Let's try again, shall we? Wonderful. How long does it take for me to come up with an overlay? Um, well, the ideas just hit me randomly. Uh, this one to put together probably took me maybe three hours. I mean, half of that time was just finding the graphics to use. Okay, I think it borked again. All right, well. Yep, I think it borked again. So we're just going to go down the list. Ah, next is Adam's family. Yep. Okay, so for the next time I do this, I need to remember to hotkey my two scenes, because then this will be a little easier. Platformers, Hurricane. <laughs> there you go. One of the only songs I can play on the piano. Come hither. Oh. All right. Now this. Is a good game. Now, I played this one as a kid, and. Yeah, I might know a couple things. So, we're gonna go give myself an unfair advantage to start off with. Mm. Don't need all that, because that's a health refill room. Game sound low? Alright, give me just a second. Nyeh. We'll try that. keep the golf ball. God. Gomez slides around like an ice skater. Yeah, I don't want the game to be too overpowering because there are some retro games where the volume is just outright. Thing. Is that enough lives to start with? <laughs> Last room. Oh, it's just the training shoes. Alright. Now, Adam's family, for anyone that doesn't know, is 
loosely based off the premise of the movie, but at the same time, kind of its own thing. Um, basically, Gomez's family has been captured. By who, for what, I don't know. I didn't take damage there because the first hit takes away my golf ball. Um, we'd probably get answers if I let the demo play. Yeah. But, um... Basically, I'm on a quest to save my family. Oh, yeah. The, the game is confusing as all get out. Um... <clears throat> but that was the Adams family. The uh, result is a very deep, rich platformer that always has you finding something new. Basic Mario premise. Jump on it to kill it. If it has a spike, don't jump on it. Thankfully, it doesn't far follow the Mega Man practice of spikes killing you in one hit, but... I have picked a very difficult stage to start with. I always end up picking the Conservatory by accident. See, those things wouldn't be a problem if I still had my golf ball. Aw, oh, what? I was ducking! Alright, you know what? We're gonna find out if I'm stuck here for 25 more lives. I can get back to the main hall. Yeah. Oh, wait. Idea. Yep. Nope. Don't want to do it. Okay. Let's try a different stage. Let's maybe try that one. Yeah, that list was compiled by um, Pixel Prospector for the uh, the website that that's on. There is a boss here. Yep, there you is. It's the scariest thing ever. A cute baby bird. Yeah, I never owned this one. I played it as a kid, though. Neighbor kids had it. Such an amazing game, though. Yeah, where you going, birdie? Squeak. Pretty basic boss pattern. Heart power up. Then I get a passcode. So now I can pick up where I left off if I had written that down. Yeah. Okay, so that might help. I could go in the tree, but I don't feel like it right now. Let's see what this is. Ah, the music room. As you can see, oh yeah, the music room is where all your rescued family members show up. And then when everybody's here, that door will open and take you to the last stage. I highly doubt I'm going to get that far. Maybe after this challenge, we'll pick some of our favorites and play the whole way through them. Oh yeah, if you ended up renting Adam's Family, you seriously had no idea what you were getting yourself into. I probably still don't know what I'm getting myself into. This leads to the deep freeze where a cold but not heartless man lurks. And this game is just quirky enough that somebody could see it as a terrible game, or it could be seen as the most amazing game ever. And frankly, 
I'm part of the latter group. It is definitely one of the most amazing games I have ever played. Super Gomez symbol back there. <laughs> it may have borrowed some quirky ideas from Mario. I love these little penguins. They look like Jello. They just jiggle. My wife would love those things. Still got it. Still got it. Oops. Ah, so many penguins. Uh, you know what? Not worth it. Mm -hmm. What's really neat is this game had like invisible points where you could jump in front of to get points. That's what was happening there. Yep, yep, yep. Nuts. Whee! Yeah, those thousands that are popping up are hidden points in the background that give me extra points. Stop it! I'm so slidey. Ah, so slidey. Really tempted to make my way back and come back with the golf ball or something. And then not screw it up. Ow. There we go. The checkpoints in certain areas are rather forgiving, though. Just this game had a really strong sense of if you hold the jump button too long, you could screw things up. There's definitely a professional level of jumping ability in this game. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, writing down tips and tricks codes for magazines. Good stuff. Yeah, if they put them out there for you to preview before buying them, why not, right? Oh, come on, really? Some of the checkpointing thing and things in this game are also really random and hard to explain. Like, I died enough there that I think the game just gradually put my checkpoint closer to the exit. <laughs> it was weird. But you know what? I'll take it. Progress is being made. It's like the developers knew that this game was going to be balls to the wall hard. Ow. Almost had it. <laughs> no. Well, nowadays that definitely doesn't count as shoplifting, considering all game codes are readily available online. Usually before the game's even properly released. That's what's scary sometimes. Oh yeah, every 50 money tokens get a heart back. Cold man could make things hot, but take heart. Okay. Ah! Bonk. Crap. This 
This guy isn't especially hard, he's just... I mean, he's got an obvious pattern. It's just you slide like nothing else. Okay, one more hit. I got this. I got this. No! So close. So close. Oh, come on. Really? That's better. I'll take it. Ah. Oh. Fantastic. Let's just... Yep. Ah. <sighs> So hard to place my jumps with me sliding like I am. Um, I honestly have no idea. There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. Now we have four hearts. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know what is going to happen to the game shifters. We're still trying to figure that out. We shall see. Okay, so that gave me a heart. So this direction, I believe, leads to the captured family member. The stove can be switched off if you can find the switch. I swear, this game was just an excuse to make some crazy looking enemies. I found the cookie jar! Make some co crazy looking enemies and... Stick a million of them everywhere. Hmm. Turn the stove off. What's going on here? Granny is here guarded by baddies that are too hot to touch. <laughs> I appreciate that though, Erican. Ow. See, and this is why I need the golf ball or something similar. I think they do give it to me eventually. turned off. We shall see. Yeah. Gotta get the right timing. Whew! Oh. So close. Ah! Your attempt to save your family was a failure. Because you're a failure. Oh. You? Nope. Mm. Slidey magma ball of death. I refuse. Don't need that. Now I do. Sometimes, you know. This game just finds a way to slide a free hit on you. It's really annoying. Still a great game, though. Okay. The Hob. That didn't last long.
Okay, we're gonna try and get through this and save Granny, and then we'll move on to the next game. <laughs> Ah, no. I love how he ducks down and he's like, no, whatever I have here is mine. You can't have it. Mine. Well, that just sucks. So like I said, very forgiving... Checkpoints. <clears throat> ah. Temporary invincibility YOLO run. Now how in the fried tuna am I supposed to make it through there? <sighs> All right. Like I said, very forgiving. There's like a checkpoint every 10 pixels or so. Ow. Oh god. Oh god. Jump. Okay. Progress is being made. Slowly. Come on. See, everything's about timing in this. If you have terrible timing, you're going to have a terrible time. Okay. Just toast. The name of this area concerns me on a couple of different levels. What's just toast? Probably me, if I had to guess. Oh, God. Okay. Seriously, the whole sliding down anything that's slightly slanted. What? Nope. <gasps> Propeller hat. Propeller hat! Keep an eye on when this times out, because this could be a bad time. What did we find? A higher portion of just toast, so I'm going... Oh, no, okay. That was a weird secret loop is what that was. Okay. Ow. I'm not doing too bad. Now, that would help if I was paying attention there. I'm starting to get back to how I used to play this. Poorly. Yep, poorly. Sliding is bad. I'm getting real nervous with all the sliding. Oh, pff, that was poor. Alright. Mm. 
really. Now I just feel stupid. What hit me? Or did I get squished? I don't know. Progress. River of Lava. Yeah, that's promising. point spots. Come on. I refuse to lose. Whew. Yeah, there we go. much easier that time. I don't understand. Something's not fair here. Some crazy almost pseudo platforming going on, or pseudo puzzle solving. No, it's all platforming, it's just crazy. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna play till we lose all those lives I gathered in the beginning, and then we'll move on. I'm not going to try and die, though. I really am going to try and make it. Because this is one of those games that can earn a little extra time. Come on, jump. The last oven. I like the sound of that. Oh. Give me up. Okay. Now what do we got? The fire dragon. Yeah, that's not helpful. But there's Granny! Diddle! Die! <coughs> Man! 
Hey, this is a good one. Act Razor was a little overly difficult for me. I don't know why, but I'm so much better at this. Now. Yep. Ah. Ha ha. I was just getting very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, and I have to make my way back to the main area. How fair is that? Okay, so that was the Adams family played. Let's do a quick switch. Next on the list. The Adams Family. Pugsley's Treasure Hunt. Yeah, the X series is going to be fun because um, I may take Mega Man X and try to do a speed run of it like I did previously. <clears throat> if you haven't seen my speed runs of uh, Mega Man X, I've only done two. One where I did decent and one where I cut like six minutes off. Um, I ended up finishing the game in like an hour and five minutes. If you want to see those, uh, exclamation mark YouTube. Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt. This one obviously being more based off the animated series, which I used to watch as a kid. So already everything's trying to kill me. That's wonderful. Uncle Fester gives me a shrinking potion, and boom, stage. Blah. But from what I understand with this game, Pugsley is on a scavenger hunt through his house. Essentially, it plays exactly like the first game. But not nearly as well fluid, I guess. Yeah, the fact that it takes so long to get back to the action and the checkpoints aren't as nice. Yeah, I can see where this isn't so fluid. It's really hard to tell what's in the background and the foreground sometimes, with this stage at least. Let's go see what else I can do. What is this balderdash? I'm going to pretend I know what's going on. I want to see what else is available to me. Well, Wednesday's not very helpful at all, is she? At least Lurch has a stage I can play. Yeah.
didn't make any sense, but okay. Come off it. <sighs> this is probably going to be one of the ones we cut a little short. Because this is just... Oh, I can just stand on them? Okay, that... Makes it a little easier and just as obnoxious. sink when I stand on them. It's only clever if it's not... And then the explosion. Yeah, only clever when it's not damn near impossible. What do we got over here? This is the stage that takes place entirely in Grandma's crystal, crystal Ball. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. It's just as terrible and difficult as I was expecting it to be. My goodness, how did anybody get through this game? Is there like a secret skill I'm missing? A trick to it? I think we're going to move on. This is not my favorite game. <clears throat> but I played it. No, I'm not going to continue. No. Uh, what's next on the list? Ah, the adventures of Batman and Robin. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to some games on that list. Actually, I was kind of looking forward to this one. Because I love the TV show. Game start! Obviously based on the animated series that was so good. One of the best manifestations of the Joker ever. We'll see what I can do, Erican. I'm looking forward to this one. I heard my cat. Anyway. Oh yeah, absolutely best Batman, hands down. I actually had the entire series on DVD at one point. I, you know, I still do, actually. It's put away. Oh, cool. Why wouldn't I just turn everything on? Ah, 
it's uh, actually some pretty good animation. You will not shoot at me. Yeah, not bad so far. Okay, that changes. Whoa! Okay, so if you know the stage well enough. You can bring just the tools you need. Okay, so Batarang stuns. And disarms. That's wonderful. Cool. All right, Harley. Through a guy. Alright, basic platforming ability there. That's cool. I just gotta figure out how to get up there. Wall jump, look at that. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, I'm getting the feel for this. Oh gosh. Yeah, these are block. Okay. And that was not blockable. Okay, I see how this works. Mm. Dude, don't lose your head over this. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. I found you, Joker. the best manifestations of the Joker. Whee! 
Oh, I can't jump to his? What? That says hit. Do you mean punch him or hit him with something? I don't know what's going on. Or if I'm doing a good job. I am a little dizzy. Considering the rotational factor, this game also uses mode 7. <clears throat> With what you two are arguing about, I have just one thing to say. Cosplay. <laughs> the bad guy has something to say at the end there. Okay, let's see. A throwing star, spray gun, smoke bomb, plastic explosive. Obviously, the batarang and the grappling gun. Didn't seem like I needed those at all. This game's a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. Beating these games as kids just means we got less and less awesome. Do that, or games are getting a little less awesome. Well, I can't really say that. Games are games changed from this era to what we know now in a way that. expounds on the media. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find a Super Nintendo game that had a great story that wasn't an RPG. Like a great complicated story that wasn't an RPG. Nowadays you can find platformers, you can find action adventure games you can find a whole bunch of things that are great stories yeah and the whole you can't die thing in most games now unless you're playing a multiplayer something or other I'll get you tin man Yeah. 
Lots of things have changed in terms of how games are. It's just a different dynamic. That's why I'm really enjoying seeing indie games basically go through a new era of 2D style stuff. Um, honestly, I think the best example of this is Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight was a game that wasn't too difficult, but had just the right balance of old school difficulty with new school presentation. <clears throat> Lots of reasons why games today are just... they're different. The type of difficulty in today's games is different. Terrors. I have not played a thousand and one spikes yet. I wanted to. I am bad at this. This next bit amazes me with how they did it. Before I get Shantae. We'll see. Honestly, the next game I need to flat out buy is Monster Hunter 4. I mean, I've got a couple months to get the rest of the money for that, but we shall see. At some point, i got to figure out a good way to do a fundraiser for a 3DS capture card. I would love to stream Monster Hunter 4. I just do not have the money for a capture card. And considering the nature of the capture cards and their installation, I would probably need to go with the option of buying a separate system with one of those cards in it. Don't hurt me, I'm pretty! This game is hard! My goodness. Also, looking at my uh, stream, with the shape of the TV, I just noticed that my uh, tool can't be seen? How did you play this game if you were on a TV like that, that had the rounded corners, you know? See, when I played Monster Hunter on 3DS, I didn't mind the touchscreen camera. Another thing, since we're talking about how games have gotten easier over the years, Monster Hunter. That game has not. <laughs> I mean, you only get three shots at a mission, otherwise you have to start over. I mean, if you think about it, Monster Hunter is basically what... Oh, really? If I'm punching your grenades at you, maybe you should stop throwing them! Wow. That was intense.
I really don't think I'm going to get through this, guys. <laughs> hmm. I think after Monster Hunter 4 and the new 3DS comes out, Monster Hunter being a Nintendo thing is not going to be bad. Um, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down the list. That was fantastic, though. That was absolutely fantastic. Now you guys are in for a treat. Honestly, I don't know. I've never played this. Here's Yogi Bear. Presents a blue turtle game. Wow, that was frightening. It's the Adventures of Yogi Bear. I'm assuming I have to start in Jellystone Park. That would just make sense. Snow business. Ha! <laughs> Puns. All I can do is jump. And apparently I only get a few seconds at a time. So I'm basically just running. Graphically the game's nice. There's at least that. collecting the time for because it's not actually counting down <clears throat> hey boo boo let's go get some picnic baskets I don't know if I'm good at that or not <laughs> my wife hates it so I'm thinking I'm actually good at it I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> Here to be timed currently, so because those aren't counting down. Really, bird. Really, bird. There are some games that just don't deserve the whole half hour. We're going to run into a few of those. This may be one of them. I don't know. Now that I know that it's not as timed as I thought it was, I mean, what am I supposed to think? Stopwatch. Oh, God. I need to friggin' get out of here. But no. no. I'm collecting them for some reason. My cake.
Okay, there's a bird here. There we go. Fool me once, shame on you. Or shame on me. I'm gonna pull a George Bush with this quote, am aren't I? I just better quit while I'm ahead. Yeah, there's actually quite a few Hanna Barbera joke uh, games. Excuse me, not jokes. Um, quite a few Hanna Barbera games in that list. Uh, the Jetsons is in there. Two Flintstone games. One based on the movie and one based on the cartoon. No. Oh, diddle sticks. All right. Hmm. I don't think I want to spend half an hour on this one. Yeah, no, I don't want to spend a half hour on this one. So you know what? We're going to move on. This special's like perfect for ADD folks. Let's see, next in the list is... Arrow the Acrobat. I remember this game being pretty good. Musically not bad. God, Sunsoft and Iguana, they were around all the way through uh, N64, weren't they? Didn't they do like one of the later Gex games and uh... Glover? Did they do Glover? I don't remember. Anyway. Alright, Arrow the Acrobats. Find seven star platforms, okay. Let's see what we can do. Ah, okay. Well, that's... Oh, what was that? Oh, cool. Nope. Okay, so I can do it down, so that's good to know. Ow. Need a little continue point. Okay, I can use the spin to attack. That's good to know. Okay, I just bounce on this. Oh, come on, I jumped on that. and seven Steam games. My goodness. You had this on Genesis? Let's see, I've got a minute to get up to that star platform. Now what do I do? Ah. Okay. That wasn't so bad. I played the second one. I've never actually given time to the first one. Find the key and rescue... What's her name? Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, Eriken, because, um... Sega Genesis never had Mode 7 stuff. So graphically speaking... Plus then the uh, special chips that allowed for things like Star Fox and all that. All the health! Woo! I apparently scream like a little girl. <laughs> That's no good. I agree. We'll disagree. We'll just leave it at that. Of course, granted, my first system was the Super Nintendo, so I might be a little biased, especially considering what I'm doing right now. Wasn't the 32X the accessory that ended up costing like over a hundred bucks? <laughs> 